Welcome to Quiplash. I'm Schmitty, and I'm hosting this game on a dare. Is that everyone? Huh. No, it's fine. You guys will do. Time for round one. Two prompts will appear on your device, which you can answer in any clever or not clever way you want. Everyone will choose between your answer and someone else's, and decide who wins. The more folks who choose your answer, the more points you get. Go! Let's take a look. 
The first prompt is... You know you have a shady landlord when blank. Okay, pick your favorite quip now. Question on www.beats.com. Vote now. Coming up next, a warning that should come with every IKEA futon. Vote on your devices. good reason to walk around with a raven on your shoulder. Okay, vote! trick to pull with your identical twin is to switch places during blank. Float away. That's it. Let's see the scores for round one. <laughs> round two is pulling into the station with double the points and bonuses. Okay, moment of truth. Our first prompt is... Yelling fire in a crowded movie theater is bad, but even worse is yelling blank. Okay, choose your favorite. Your next prompt is 
the worst part about having your human brain living in a robot body. Ready, set, vote! Next in the hopper, terrible advice from a driver's ed instructor. Put in your votes. Next, a sign you don't want to see next to a hotel hot tub. Get to voting. Next up, a sign you may be a terrible babysitter. It's voting time! That's all for round two. Let's see where the points went. <laughs> this is round three, the last lash. Everyone's taking aim at the same prompt this time. Complete this word lash task. Time to take a look. You get three medals to award to your top three quips. Give out your gold, silver, and bronze medals now. Okay, let's bring out those medals. Bronze, silver, and gold. All right, let's turn that into cold hard points. We're done. Let's see the final scores.
welcome to Quiplash. I'm Schmitty, and I have nothing better to do right now. Very nice names. When my capybara finally gives birth, I'm going to name the pups after you guys. This is round one. You score based on the percentage of players who like your answer. Plus, there are winner's bonuses at stake. Go! All right, let's have a look. Prompt number one is... The one thing they don't show you on the Pentagon tour is the secret blank room. Okay, use your device to pick your favorite. Next is, the only way to truly kill a bed bug is to blank and vote. Next on deck, in the year 2085, blank will be the American currency. Time to vote. Meg Ryan movie, Sleepless in Blank. Put in your votes. Next in line, don't reply to a restaurant job listing that reads, must love blank. Vote away. That's all for round one. Here's the scoreboard. Yeah. Time for round two, where everything is worth two times as much as that silly round one.
time for the big reveal. First one, something you never want to hear a flight attendant say. Okay, pick your favorite and vote. on the list, a fact you might find on a Snapple cap that couldn't possibly be true. Get to voting! Next one, surprising photos to find on Garfield's phone would be of blank. Okay, vote. Moving on, a reenactor at Colonial Williamsburg would get suspended if they said blank. Ready, set, vote! Up next, the most pointless thing to strap a GoPro camera on. It's voting time! Round two's done, let's see who's winning now. <laughs> it's round three, the last lash. I've got one prompt left and you're all getting it. Follow these word lash instructions. Okay, soak it in. Pick your medal winners now. Okay, everyone, let's see who got those medals. Bronze. Show me the silver. And the gold. Okay, let's change those medals into points. That's the game. Let's see the final scores.
A reminder to all agents, we have a camera on the coffee pot, so we know when you take the last cup and don't refill the pot. This is your final warning. Foolish humans. Breathe it in. I hear you. Hey, Sheila, what are you doing with those classified folders you're leaving the building with? It's not what you Secrets. think. These are gap folders. See, it says classified. Yeah, because you crossed out classified and wrote that yourself with a sharpie. I outrank you. I don't need to explain. Okay, see you later, Snowden. Breathe it in. Three, two, one. Hey, Warren, can you... Thanks to our extensive network of surveillance cameras, we can see everything going on in the world. Did you know that Brad Pitt eats a full loaf of bread every morning? The government uses this information for whatever, but we use it to play... Gespionage! Let's have some analytical fun! Okay, who's first? Oh, here's one we've been especially interested in. Don't ask me. What percentage of people have all the information on at least one of their credit cards memorized? Give it your best guess. You get more points the closer you come to the actual percentage. Okay, we have a guess. 33%. Okay, everyone else. Time to guess if the actual percentage is higher or lower. Breathe it in. I hear you. Just one of you is saying higher. And the correct answer is... 32%. Only 1% off. That's how you guess Bionage. So, who picked lower? Well done. You get points. next uh, I don't know how about what percentage of people have a lucky number eighty seven percent everyone else higher or lower It in. Only one of you thinks it's higher. And Surveil says... 59%! Anyone's lucky number 59? Nope. Nobody. Let's see who got it right. Here's some points. Next up... Breathe it in. Ooh, I remember seeing good surveillance for this yesterday. What percentage of people prefer canned soda, rather than bottled soda or fountain soda? 30% What do y'all think? Higher or lower? Everyone says higher except for one of you. 
Now let's get to the right answer. 28%! Just missed it by 2%. Nice guess. Who got it right? Well done. You get points. Okay, who's up next? I hear you. My old summer job. What percentage of people were not aware that ice road trucking was a thing people did before the reality show aired? 94%. Okay, higher or lower? Breathe it in. Lower across the board. And Surveil says... 76%! Stay tuned for history's next adventure series, Death Valley Paper Routes. Let's see who got it right. Nice job, I've got some points for you. Who's next? And now for a question about people with no shame. What percentage of people have reached out to attorneys they heard about from TV ads? 75%. Everyone pick, higher or lower. Oh. Breathe it in. It's unanimous again. Okay, right answer is... 4%. Terrible. You need to be within 30% to get points. Who got it right? Here's some points. Let's see where things stand after round one. I hear you. Breathe it in. Round two, here we come. Who's up first? This one's worth Mega Millions. Not really. What percentage of people have spent more than $10 on lottery tickets at one time? 50%. In round two, you can now guess much higher or much lower. Pick one of those if you think the answer is off by 50% or more. If you're right, you'll earn double the money. If not, you'll get nothing. I hear you. Breathe it in. Okay, let's see the right answer. 42%. Don't forget to play 4, 8, 15, 16, 23, and 42. Broken? No, you were all just wrong. Next up. I'll bet our database has some juicy data for this. What percentage of people have woken up before 5 a.m. to attend Black Friday sales? 75%. All right, what do you think? Breathe it in. Everyone is saying lower. Okay, let's see the right answer. 39%. Bit of advice to those people. There's this thing called the internet now. You can even shop from home. Let's see who got it right. Ooh, points for you! And what have we here? Great answer! Double points for saying much lower! Who's next? Breathe it in! Ooh, this is gonna be good! What percentage of people still have landline telephones in their homes? 
17%. What do y'all think? Higher or lower? I hear you. It's unanimous again. And the correct answer is... 35%. They do make excellent paperweights. Who got it right? Nice job. I've got some points for you. Okay, who's up next? I hear you. Typey, typey. What percentage of people have been interviewed on radio or TV? Thirty-six percent. Okay, higher or lower? Breathe it in. Right down the middle. And the correct answer is... 50%! He's climbing in your window, snatching your people up. Hide your kids, hide your wife. <laughs> Greatest TV interview of all time. Let's see who got it right. Smart, yes. Here's your points. As for you, ugh, I'm sorry. Double downs only count if the answer is off by 15% or more. Next up. Let's see, what would be good? How about this? What percentage of people have been buried up to the neck in sand? 42%. Everyone else, higher or lower? Breathe it in. Looks like an even split. Okay, let's see the right answer. 23%! Yep, me too. Except replace sand with college debt. Who got it right? Points for you! Uh-oh, final round time. By hacking hundreds of cell phones, we found the most popular answers to this question. On what part of the body would people most like to have plastic surgery performed? Here are the most popular answers. You have three chances to pick the most popular answers on the board. Good luck! Let's see what answers you chose. Okay, computer, show us the most popular answers. Who's that special someone? Breathe it in. <laughs> My, my, seeing this game played like you did really warms my cockles. Did you know 76% of people don't even know what cockles are? Three, two, one. I just finished redacting our last game, so we're good for another game of... Gespionage! First up. All right, buckle in. I've got one for you. Let's 
what percentage of people usually cringe rather than laugh at videos of people being embarrassed? We have an answer, 50%. Everyone else, do you think the correct answer is higher or lower? And Surveil says... 59%! Yeah, not too shabby. Let's see who got it right. Well done, you get points. Who's next? I hear you. I'm gonna pull this one down from the top shelf. What percentage of people currently have at least one bottle of alcohol valued at more than $50 in their homes? Thirty-five percent. Okay, higher or lower? Breathe it in. Looks like an even split. Okay, let's see the right answer. 29%! Wow, you were pretty close. Who got it right? Well done, you get points. Okay, who's up next? Most important meal of the day, folks. What percentage of people were allowed to have sugary cereals as children? 23%. What do y'all think? Higher or lower? Breathe it in. Ooh, everyone thinks it's higher. And Surveil says... 88%! You weren't within 30%, so no points for you. Let's see who got it right. Nice job! I've got some points for you. Next up... Ooh, the president asked us to look this up yesterday. What percentage of people have bought romantic underwear for other people? 75%. Everyone pick, higher or lower. One of you is saying higher. Okay, right answer is... 38%! And what do those of us in the 38% expect in return? A simple thank you, instead of a restraining order. Who got it right? Here's some points! Who's next? Alright, I have a good one. What percentage of people have buried something in the woods? 20% Alright, what do you think? down the middle. Now let's get to the right answer. 42%! Naturally, our agents will be following up with them. Let's see who got it right. Here's some points! That's it for round one. Let's take a look at the scores. I hear you. Breathe it in. Onward to round two, where things work a little differently, but I'll get to that in a bit. 
Let's start with you. What should I search for in the old Surveillance Pro next? Ooh, I know! What percentage of people have Rickrolled someone? Got it. 25%. Everyone else, do you think the correct answer is higher or lower? I hear you. Everyone thinks it's higher. And the correct answer is... 63%. And before you run out and form a Rick Astley tribute band called Rick Rolled, just know there are already 27 of them. Who got it right? Nice job, I've got some points for you. Okay, who's up next? I hear you. Okay, computer, what do you have for this one? What percentage of people have voted for contestants on reality shows? 43%. What do you all think? Higher or lower? Breathe it in. It's unanimous again. And the correct answer is... 55%. 3% of those people vote in congressional elections. Good to have priorities. Let's see who got it right. Well done, you get points. Who's next? All right, Surveillance Pro, what do you have for this? What percentage of people exit parties without telling people they're leaving? 28%. Okay, higher or lower? Breathe it in. Okay, let's see the right answer. 25%! Ooh, just a few percentage points off. Well done. Wow, everyone was wrong. Next up. I'm going to search for... What percentage of people have older relatives who routinely forward them jokes via email? 65%. Everyone else, higher or lower? I hear you. Breathe it in. Half and half. And Surveil says... 29%. It's the same relatives who forward urban myths before you refute them using Snopes.com. Who got it right? Well done. You get points. Who's next? Typey typey. What percentage of people have crowd surfed? 13%. What do y'all think? Higher or lower? I hear you. Breathe it in. One lonely vote for lower. Okay, let's see the right answer. 12%! 
Wow! 1% off! That's worth a lot of points! Let's see who got it right! Ooh! Points for you! It's time for the final round! We let the computer scour petabytes of data to find the most popular answers to this question! For those too cowardly to do it face to face, what other method is most often used to break up with someone? Now let's see the answers. You get three guesses. Try to pick the most popular answers to get the most points. Ready, go! Okay, let's see what you picked. Now let's take a look at the results. Who's my hero? Who's my hero? It's... Breathe it in. Oh. I Congratulations, you're the most surveillance surveillance that ever surveyed.
Wake up! Welcome to Trivia Night, a phantasm of mind-rending challenges. But it's also so fun. Let's all take a moment and try to remember it's fun. I'm going to ask you a bunch of trivia questions. If you get a question wrong, you have to fight for your life in one of my super fun mini games. If you do badly in the mini game, I'll kill you. But don't worry, ghosts can still win the game. When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round where the living and dead compete to see who can escape first. And you can always jump in the audience for a chance to be killed by me. How fun! Am I over explaining this? The last group was super dumb. Let's just get into it. Here's the first question. Huh, I knew this when I was four. What's the optimal temperature for cremation? Use your device to answer the question. And the correct answer is... Who got the question right? The rest of you, prepare for your punishment. Let me ask you a question. Your life depends on how you answer. What is something people worry about but shouldn't? Type an answer on your device and press send when you're finished. Now everyone gets to vote. Pick which of these answers you hate the most. The person who wrote the answer with the most votes will die. Pick the answer that makes you go bad. Bad dog. Look at what you did. The votes are in. I actually really enjoyed what you wrote, but rules are rules. There comes a time in every person's life when they die and become a ghost. But don't worry, ghosts love trivia party games, so you're still in this. You haven't lost or anything. Death is not the end. Here's everybody's score so far. Are scores important? If you crave external validation, then yeah. I've got more questions for you. What's the second book in George R. R. Martin's The Song of Ice and Fire series? <laughs> Who said this? Which leads only you. Let's play a game. Welcome back to the killing floor. Every loser must spin the loser wheel. Nobody keeps the loser wheel waiting. Nobody. Oh, I just love it when she spins. Better luck next life. Here's how the standings are, uh, standing. All right, next question. I'll never forgive it for how it treated Rick Moranis, but... What's the name of the man-eating plant in Little Shop of Horrors? One? Only a ghost got it wrong. Hmm, too easy. Let's try another one. Close your eyes and take a deep breath. Good. Now... Who's the eldest Hemsworth brother?
And the correct answer is... This one. One of you is still alive. Let's play a game. Let's test your memory. Everyone gets to play this time. Memorize the pattern. Okay, you've had enough time. I know this is a weird time to bring it up, but I just learned to play the glockenspiel. Wanna hear? That was an Alicia Keys song. Could you tell? Ah, eh, forget it. From left to right, what was the order of the colors? If anybody does better than you, you will be much worse off. Because you'll be dead. Was that clear? was the pattern, you silly gooses? How much of it did you remember? But did anyone do just a little better? Gross! You should be ashamed of your performance! Scores! 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 Yay! Scores! How about this? Uh... I'm asking for a friend. Which artery is located in a person's neck? <laughs> Who picked this? Fame. Next question. Which department does Dilbert work in? <laughs> Who picked this? I want to show you something. It's time for my sickest creation. A math quiz! Answer as many math questions as you can before time runs out. All the safe players will be playing too. And if any of them do better than you, it'll be bad. Let's kick some math. While you guys are doing math, I've been learning how to fold origami. Today is all about improving ourselves. Math time is almost up. You got beat. Killed by other players is probably the creepiest thing that can happen in this game if you think about it. Only one of you is still alive. You know what that means. Glad to see you've made it here alive. But can you escape with your body? I'm going to give you a category. Mountain Dew flavors. Tap on each answer that fits, then press submit. Let's see the right answers. You move forward one space for every correct answer. Aww, you have to get answers right to get closer to the exit. Oh, did I mention that all the other ghosts get to play too? If a ghost catches up to you, then they will steal your body. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. to write some harder questions. Sedimentary rocks. Oh, that 
Narcos is gonna get ya! Are you afraid of the dark? You should be. Packs of cheese. Welcome back! Here's my promise to you. This should be just as painful as it was the last time. Alright, first question. It seems to me that pain is everywhere. Often it's not. But if you look for it, I've got a sneaky feeling you'll find that pain actually is all around. What language does Colin First's character in love actually learn so he can declare his love? answer is... Who got the question right? The rest of you. 
Let's go someplace fun. Welcome to the killing floor. We're going to play chalices. I've given all the safe players a bit of poison to use. Pick a chalice to poison. And it's your turn now. Pick a chalice to drink from. I know what you're thinking, but don't worry. My chalices are BTH free. <laughs> yummy, yummy. Now let's see what everyone drank. <sighs> Say what? No one drank any poison? Well, I'm gonna have to add this to my disappointment diary. It's early, but here are your scores. But don't get too high or too low because you're all doomed, remember? Let's try another one. Which of these phrases contains a gerund? And the correct answer is... This one? The rest of you, I have a surprise for you! Hey girl, welcome back to the killing floor! Wow, look at this big enticing pile of cash just sitting here! Here's how this is going to work. If no one takes the money, no one dies. But if you do take the money, I'll kill everyone who didn't. There's one catch. If you all take the money, then you all die. Don't be shy. Talk it out. <laughs> Let's see where we netted out. You sold out your friends for money. I'm so proud of you. Aww. I'm gonna enjoy this. This is the scoreboard again. I had thought about having a different scoreboard for each question, but sometimes you have to make sacrifices along the way in game development. Let's try this again. What is the correct order of letters at the bottom of a QWERTY keyboard? still alive. Let's go someplace fun. Fight! 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 You can attack someone else. You can defend yourself. Or you can grab some money. And if no one gets hurt, I will still punish someone. Fight! Fight for your precious little lives! This is going to look so good on my murder wall. Swing and a miss. Attacking someone and not killing them is real weak. Punishment for you. Why not take a moment to check out my full explanation of the tiebreaker rules over on my website. Alright, next question. How does Funyuns describe itself on its package? <laughs> and the correct answer is... This one? 
I have a surprise for you. Let's play a dice game. I'll go first. Eleven. Now I need an assistant. You'll do. In order to live, should they roll higher or lower? The choice is yours. Hmm, odds are about even there. I don't know how to feel about this. Roll higher than me or you die. That is not what you wanted to see. Oh good, we're just down to one. Congrats on making it here alive. Now let's see if you can escape with your body. Here's your first category. LaCroix flavors. Tap on each answer that fits, then press submit. See the right answers! A space for every right answer. Songs on Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Decision's decision. Here's another one. Months with 31 days. is gonna get ya! Can you stay out of the shadows? Played at the original Woodstock.
Welcome to TKO. I am the Tournament Master. Well, actually, I'm his identical twin brother, but he's at the dentist, so I'm filling in. <laughs> I'm glad you could join me on T-Shirt Island. We only have one rule here. Have fun. Oh, and make sure you're on time for the tournament. And no pets. And everyone washes their own dishes. And it, actually, there's a big list of them. I'll just get you a copy. What's your email address? Your winding path to victory starts here, at the training grounds. You will use your device to draw two drawings. You may draw whatever you wish. And if your wish is to know what to draw, hit the suggestion button. It's time for your first drawing, right now. couldn't have done better myself. Well, actually, I could. This time, try to think more like me. On to drawing number two. Good, good, pretty good. For your last exercise, you will write as many slogans or phrases as you can. Something really clever or really dumb. I'm sure anything you write will be one of those. And there's no shame in hitting the suggestion button if you need it. Go! Keep those slogans coming!
Make haste before time runs out. Oh yes, this is going to be good. The time for training is over. Have a look at your device. You have a series of drawings and slogans at your disposal. Choose one of each to make the best t-shirt champion that you can. Don't phone it in. Oh, very clever. I can wait no longer. Let the tournament begin! Gauntlet 1 Versus Fight! Fight by submitting your votes on your devices, that is. A new challenger appears. I want you to fight. Versus? Go ahead and fight already! You winners look good. This feels like a good time for a training break. Use your devices to enter one new drawing and as many new slogans as you wish. I want you to know, I believe in you. Go! Start writing. As we approach the second gauntlet, the cruel winds of chance have switched around your drawings and slogans. You know what to do. Make a shirt. I hope you 
chose wisely. Gauntlet 2. Versus. Battle. A tie on the first battle? Fine, I'll choose. A new challenger appears. Attack. The tie goes to the defender. Versus... Five! Winners! The final gauntlet is upon us, and only the most worthy shirts from the previous round will compete. Prepare to cast your votes for the last time. As tournaments go, that was up there. Uh, did anyone tape that? Uh, get me a copy, okay? I'll give you a blank VHS. Welcome to TKO. I am the Tournament Master, and my horoscope says it's a great day to start new enterprises with others. So let's get started. I brought you all here to T-Shirt Island because one of you is a murderer. Just kidding, it's to make T-Shirts. Draw me something pretty, won't you? Begin!
Excellent. This time, show me something different. Remember to use the suggestion button if you need an idea. Begin your second drawings. Make haste before time runs out! You show promise, most of you. We'll also need some slogans if you think you can manage it. Go! I'm looking for like three or four from each of you. Does that seem doable? Just give it a shot. You really dug deep that time. Time to breathe life into your t-shirt creation. Live! Nicely done! I hope you're ready! Let the tournament begin! Gauntlet 1 Versus Fight! Using your devices to vote A tie vote so soon well, personally, I like this one. Versus... Attack! I won't cut it. The defender wins. A new 
Shavan to appear. Battle! Oh, I need a breather. Let's take a training break. Use your devices to enter one new drawing and as many new slogans as you wish. Don't let me down. Go. Make some words. Dream up something special. I've got a good feeling about this batch. Gauntlet 2 Versus Fight for me babies, fight! A tie on the first fight! Uh, I choose this one. Oh, a new challenger appears. Fight. Versus Fight each other Winners! So it's come to this, the final gauntlet. Only the strongest shirts from the previous rounds will compete, and only one will come out alive.
versus Mike. Well, but the one true winner has emerged.